Hey guys, RS Chaos Master Brian here. How's it going? This is an exciting video, at least for me. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple SH figure arts that I got, um, including this top one, which is very exciting for me because it literally completes my entire Dragon Ball SH figure arts line. I have every single figure that they have released so far in every different box variant, so I literally have every single one. <laughs> which is very exciting. Um, that being said, of course, Tamashii Nations Japan decided to release a Japan-only Kid Goku uh, Blue Yi version, so I'm in the process of tracking that one down to buy to definitely put a stamp on my line. And, um, you know, all I could say is keep watching this channel because... The amount of SH figure arts for Dragon Ball that are coming out is ridiculous. And I already have five of them pre-ordered and paid off, so they are going to be coming. And then they announced three event exclusive uh, ones that were supposed to be at San Diego Comic Con. But because the convention was canceled, it's going to be online. And... On Thursdays, whenever it starts the pre-order, I'm going to be on that website at 9 p.m. exactly, uh, making sure that I get those three, because they are awesome in my opinion, and I cannot wait to add them to my collection. So, just a lot of exciting things coming. Um, maybe I'll do a video on all the figures that are coming this year, because it's just, it's just ridiculous. But with that, let's get this video started. So, to start, this is literally this was literally the last one I needed for my line. And I had been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. But I got a I got a semi decent price on him. So I decided that it was time to pick him up before he skyrockets because I know he will. Because all the other event exclusives have gone up in price, so this one will as well. I'll set this down for one second. Tape off. There we go. And here we go. Vegito Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Event Exclusive Color Edition. Now you guys are probably like, I thought you already had this. Well... Sort of. Because this is what I had, which is the San Diego Comic-Con box. But two, there are two things that are different with this box, okay? First of all, the colors are different. Uh, you see how this is a lighter blue, and this one is a black. So that's the first thing. Secondly... This is V-E-G-I-T-O, and this is V-E-G-E-T-T-O. If we turn them over to the back, I believe they're the same exact box on the back, and they are. They're the exact same box on the back. <laughs> so, yeah. Now I've got... The entire line. One's a blue box, one's a black box, one has different spelling than the other. That's the only difference, but unfortunately it's considered its own part of the line, so I had to buy it. Now, moving on. <laughs> this is Demonical Fitz. Uh, his name is Special Force Psychic, but it's it's Goldo. Reason I bought this is they announced the Ginyu Force, but it seems very clear that Goldo is not going to be his own separate figure. And since I'm buying all the Ginyu Force, and since I keep them all in boxes and all that, I want one that I can display with the rest of the Ginyu Force. Um, and I just thought it would be stupid if I uh, if I didn't buy this and I only had four members because Goldo is going to come with Berta or Berter, however you want to say it. Um, so I bought 
this to go along with it so that all five Ginyu Force members can be on display. And it looks pretty good, honestly. Um, at least I think it does. Um, I won't take them out of the package, but it looks like Goldo. And... I don't know, even the back looks like Goldo. <laughs> very, very similar looking packaging to, you know, SH Figure Arts, so. Pretty cool. And then, the last thing I have to show you guys is pretty freaking awesome, in my opinion. Captain America Final Battle Edition Avengers Endgame. That looks like, like Chris Evans or Steve Rogers, if you want to be technical. Then he's got his bow-damaged faces. And it also comes with Mjolnir, which I don't think you can see because I think it's in the box. Here's the back. And if you guys, I can't remember if I told you this or not, but I have kind of stopped on the Marvel uh, figure arts line. In fact, I got rid of quite a few of my Marvel SH figure arts, but um, I will be continuing to buy any Captain Americas they release and possibly any Spider-Mans they release. So it's not like the Marvel line is done for me. It's just uh, I won't be buying a lot of the figures. Maybe whenever... <laughs> Marvel gets to X-Men, I might get Wolverine, and another one that's a possibility is Daredevil if he ever comes into the, the line, but at least for now, Captain America will be the only SH figure arts that I buy. Now, let's take him and put him with the rest of my Marvel figures. I want to put him. Hmm. This is interesting. Do I put him up here next to Thanos? Or do I put him down here? We'll put him down here. <laughs> and that's my Marvel SH figure arts line right now. <laughs> if I get probably two more. I'll have I'll have this full again. It looks a little bit off, but it's not too bad. And I do have at least one more coming because they released um the Avengers, the Avengers Captain America is going to be released for SH Figure Arts. Um so that's pretty cool. Uh I'll probably put him on the second shelf. And I'm sure another Spider-Man will come out for Spider-Man 3, so. <laughs> so, yeah. I will probably do another collection line overview video in the near future. Um, especially now that I have them all. But I think I'll wait till, uh, until after the event exclusives come out. Um... Just trying to decide which box do I like better. I think the San Diego Comic-Con box is pretty sweet. And then there, there they all are. Have to figure out where I'm going to put Goldo. I think I'll just throw him up here for now. Put him next to Vegeta until, until I get, uh, you know the rest of the Ginyu Force. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts and Marvel SH Figure Arts for the win. And we'll talk to you later, YouTube. Thanks. Bye.